finally finishes powering up the spirit bomb. <laughs> 45 <laughs> episodes later of Goku going, oh! 45 episodes One, one piece later is finally over. Oh, no, that's never going to Oh, no, that's, that's never going to end. That's going to have to I'll be 40 that's, years that's... old and it's still going to be on. If not, One Piece then some like spinoff or something. All right. Oh, God, no, I think I we're live. That. I'll drop the link in the uh, chat there. I'm going to post it on social media. Uh, I'm just noticing some things. Where the hell is He-Man Zelda? They die? Yep. Over here. Everyone died. Rip. Their brother. <laughs> Game yeah. over. We're going to have to start new characters. <laughs> and it's already like the end of days, so you only have like six days to go from like level one to level six. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that's literally impossible. <laughs> right, Ninja, oh. get over here. Oh, no. A one hit sampler has appeared. In... Oh, bad day for you guys. Hopefully you rolled high on your D20 when you rolled into town and you start at level 3. <laughs> Where's the hero for fun? We need to get him. Mm. <laughs> oh, you guys are attacking the hot while leaving us back here. Even worse, the boss has entered its final transformation, so meaning we're going to actually take damage now. While I'm looking at oh. it, everybody should jump on Minds.com. They're fucking awesome. Made all sorts of money on there today. Huzzah! Huzzah! Not sponsored, by the way. Not Go sponsored. hang on, Leowan's still here. Raid oh, Shadow shit. Legend. Is, it, is this supposed to be a new roller that's not effed up? Well, I'll introduce it once Ninja moves over here. Yeah, that is a functional roller as far as I know. Beep. Bop. Anything that Bop. uses an actual uh, dice roll like that is going to have true RNG, from what I understand. I, I looked into it on some forums, and that is a real RNG. The scripted one has, like, a timer, which makes it less less uh, perfect. You'll get those duplicates if you spam it. But this, because it's actually rolling dice, it has true RNG because it also applies physics to the roll. Of course, it makes a giant mess, so you need to do this off in a corner somewhere. Otherwise, you're going to fuck up the table. <laughs> nope, because there's a magic clear button that gets rid of all of them. So you got 709. Huzzah. Hooray, I How do you deal them. with modifiers? It's in this box over here. This one? The text yeah. box? The, yeah, the one that says zero. So if you press okay. 20, Two, then says. add any random number, like I'll, I'll add six. You can press the roll, land on that, and there we go, 21. Okay. Why don't I press the 21? roll? 21? Yeah. Manual focus on my camera. It uh, also changes. Uh, the these are all just saves? Game. Okay, cool. Those are all my modified game, uh, rolls. Like, this is Eldritch Blast, and that's all, uh, like... How do I copy this to steal it? Yeah. Uh, uh, you have to click, click like, the, the part of the roller that isn't part the of dice. it. The black part? No, uh, the black part. Ah, uh, I stole you, it. You can get rid of the modifiers by, uh, like, the bottom saved ones by right-clicking uh, the things. The boxes. Oh, I, I, need, oh, no. uh, I need uh, permission to save it. Coming up. To steal it. One promote. Everyone wants to steal it. But yeah, what I thought is if we just save all of our regular rolls, we can have a little section of the table where maybe we could do our rolls. I saved a bag the other day. I was looking on the workshop to see if anybody came up with a better solution. Um, this was the best I could find anyway. I'll leave this. What? It, the whole thing doesn't come in one chunk. It's one of our, yeah, it does. So this bag has Sorry. that roller in it, sort of. It doesn't have those extra things. Where do you find the extra See? things? It only copied the dice. It didn't copy the rest of it. Because like this is all I found See? on the workshop. None of Wait. those other buttons. I can, I can copy and paste it. I can't. Well, you may have to just download it from the workshop then. It's I called... Don't want well, you have to. It's called Improved Dice Roller. I did. Yeah, there you go. You so, also, this dice roller, this one works great. <laughs> I hate character names. Oh, there we go. Nah, it's it's rollers again. So there's a forty-three. I named it there's dice roller, real dice. <laughs> there's one. There's a five. There's a one. There's a five. There's a two. There's a six. So it is random. This one is a functional dice roller. That's that new one what? that looks like the old one. Yes. <laughs> I changed it to uh, Dice Roller V3 like on the description there, so you can tell this is the newest one, the functional one. 
And then anything that rolls a dice, that's definitely going to give you true RNG. This one you have to leave a little pause. Like, you don't want to spam the button on the scripted ones, but uh, they should be accurate if you don't spam it. Ah. See? Ah. See? You spammed it. You can, you can bork it if you press the same button too many times in a row. If you're pressing alternating buttons, it's fine. Or if you need to press the same button, leave a little pause, like... One one thousand, two one thousand. Oh, I just click. looked. At, I just clicked on two second pauses, and that was not enough. Mm. I think you have to wait for the animation to completely and for the roll to come up. Yeah, and you have to wait. Nice. And yeah, you have to wait for the number to come up, and then you can roll again. You know, kind of think of it as have to stay over there. The other fun thing I found was uh, this uh, note Life card. Mississippi works for me. It doesn't let you put enough stuff on it, but I do like it. All right, well, I saved it all two around. Well, you can here. make more than one. <laughs> it's true. It lags. I cannot type in quickly. If I, I tried to type in hi puppies and kittens, and it, like, cuts off <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Thankfully, I also made all my rollers in advance, because I'm a good boy. <laughs> what the hell? That's weird. It didn't do that to me when I was using it, but I was doing it in single player. That note card? Hippopious kittens. <laughs> it won't that? even let me delete it. <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe not very good. Not a good note card. Oh, that's wild. Uh, where were we? Were we re-rolling initiatives? Yeah, we're gonna do a new round, new initiative. You guys are confronting the heart, the heart of darkness. Salvo, <laughs> sorry. Alright, so find where the party is on this battle map. You are approaching the heart. Mm. I guess uh, Rikaril, Caster, you're first. Starting it off. I, I... Yeah. So you're just outside this uh, cloud of dust and debris from the giant explosion. I... I... And it's just, I'm gonna go. Alright. Wait, is that late? Yeah, Alright, did I, did I wake up? Get, did I get a chain of wakes set up? A chain just of wakes? Finish eating, wakes. Finish oh, eating you your rakes. Rakes. Yeah, yeah, you got you got all your rakes. It's on this note card right here. Alright. Guess I'll do that. Rake them. You're gonna charge at them and rake? Yeah. Cool. I heard what charge at them and rake. Yeah, rape. Do I it. heard it too. I just didn't want to bring it up. Just Wait, I thought do you it. Was... Uh, 24 to <laughs> hit. 24 to hit. Second frog, what were you saying? I thought he was attacking the Leron. He's attacking the Ancestor. Uh, yeah, that's what he says. He wants to attack the Ancestor. Uh, I forgot. What was it? Like a uh, 1d6? Who knows? I, I don't know your abilities. Know your own character. It's one of those it's things. It's been a while. <laughs> I should spawn that. Uh, I should spawn that penalty card. Yeah. Uh, 20, 21 damage. Twenty one damage. All right. And second second attack. Twenty. The downside of all these attacks is they don't actually hit you. Plus. Hang on. You just saw me swing at that motherfucker four uh, times and nothing happened. Well, I, I know a, I know a 24. Jeez. Okay, so that's 45 total. And uh, he takes 26 damage. You're dead. <laughs> you think so? He's got a lot of hit points. Oh, I thought oh. I went for Leon. Well, mirror Leon. Oh, are you going yeah, after I... Leron instead of the Ancestor? 
Yeah, like the first. I know, like the if I attack one once with the first wick, he'll be dead. All right. So you stay here and you attack later on. Yeah, the first one I attack Leon, and then the second way goes after the ancestor. What is Leon's armor class twenty four right now? Uh, according to th well, it depends if you used shield last round. I hope you remember. I did not. I don't think so. So it'd be nineteen. So yeah, everything hits. Um, that probably kills you, right? Yeah. How much <laughs> damage did it do? 20. Well, Mirror Leon already had like a bunch of damage, so he goes forty seven. Forty seven, and you did more than twenty damage. Yeah. All right. So you rake Mirror Leron, and he turns into a mist and disintegrates, and water droplets are all that's left. Uh, the record is wrong. not that easy to kill me. That's the two things get you. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> it's totally uh, easy. I'm gonna go not, well. I would have healed and flown. Yeah. Yep, man. I'm. That's all I got. All right. So rake, rake. Who's next? Move. He man bubs, you're over here by the heart, the pulsing heart, the heart of darkness. You can feel Must waves of evil it. emanating. The only from way He man knows how to destroy is by chopping. So he quadruples attack recklessly on the heart. Mm -hmm. Furry of blows. For a 21, 30, 31, and 33 to hit, one of them is critical. All right. Armor class 10. Everything's exceptional, and then a crit. Total up all of your damage. It's got a massive pool of hit points, so just give me a big number once you've figured it all out, and I'll apply it. Okay. 500. <laughs> he has over 500 hit points, so deal big damage as fast as you can. Before it drives no, you I, mad. Oh, uh, where? Where? Five D. That first one was bad. Uh, two. So there's just this mighty giant swing, this ultra great sword, four times into the the meaty vascular pulpy heart as it pumps away and like black blood is squirting out in all directions. What is the melee critical wall? Hmm, shit, I don't even have that open. Give me a moment. Okay. Where's my bird? Oh, it's on me, never mind. Bird, 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 bird. Bird's the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Tell me, man, have you heard? That the bird is the word. All right, so weapon attack, okay, critical hit. You are able to maneuver towards your opponent while attacking and harass them. After your attack, you can choose to automatically succeed in grappling your opponent if you have a free hand or shoving your opponent if both hands are in use. He's immune to shove. Doubt either of those click. You can grab him. He didn't have any movement to begin with, so it doesn't matter. He's kind of immune to being pinned or restrained. <laughs> but you can definitely freely grab onto him if you want to release your two-handed grip on your sword. I doubt you do. No. Okay. I do a total of 121 points of damage. Damn. So resistance to any type of damage. I hope not, because that would complicate a lot of math. No. No resistances. Okay, cool. No immunities. <laughs> he takes the full amount of damage. He just has a massive pile of hit points. A damage sponge like you wouldn't believe. So, uh, Zolder, you're standing here watching yep. He-Man chop furiously into the thing that will not die. What do you do? Hmm. What's the heart looking like right now? Uh, roll a that damage. Roll an insight. Insight. Oh, that is not something Zelda is amazing at. Gonna be a passive insight so that we can all do it. Passive group check. Yay! Uh, well. Okay. You can't tell if it's taken significant damage yet. You don't think so. It's still beating. <laughs> Although the entire body of it is a vital organ, so technically every hit is a vital hit. <laughs> All right. So that was free. You look at it. You ponder. What do you do? What do I do? Well, I still have this wand of like evil, so why don't we do that? Zap. Okay. It's gotta make a dex save. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Roll some damage. 
Stationary okay. heart can beat, but it cannot jump out of the way of a lightning bolt. So, 26 damage is done. Bah. All right, so it crackles with electricity, and it stops momentarily. The heart goes out of sync, but then it continues to beat. Yeah. And I guess that's it. Okay, so see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. It's my turn? It is kill your turn. Uh, All right. You were standing in a cloud, a smoke I... bomb, in the rubble after exploding. Whoa. Um, hmm. The ancestor is right there, right? You can hear the sounds okay. of Rikaril. He's ahead of you. I think you're prone, right? You were knocked prone by the blast. I got... I use my uh, movement to get up. All right. So half your movement, you stand up. Do you want to move towards the sound of combat? That was... Um... Yes. All right. You emerge from the smoke. And you can see Rikril is raking the shit out of the ancestor. Or he's <laughs> no, he's not raking the shit out of the ancestor. He raked the shit out of a a uh, mirror clone, and then he's headed towards the ancestor to continue to rake on his next turn. But he hasn't, <laughs> hasn't reached him yet. But he's roaring and moving in that direction. So um, from here, you can see targets. I think you had your uh, your crossbow in hand before. So if you wanted to make a range attack or something, you could. All right. The ancestor's way bigger than the last time you saw him. He's become a humongous creature. He's like 20 feet tall. Most of him Boy. is made out of tentacles. Ooh, you don't say. <laughs> His That's nethers have I multiple eight. eyes. Even if I have tentacles. the modifiers, it's not enough. Yeah. Okay. I rolled the 8 to hit. Even if I have my modifiers, that's not enough. Yeah, not enough. Okay. Class well, I'm gonna 16. Use the, I'm going to use the I'm gonna use my uh, rest of my move and then move back into the smoke cloud. All right. So you are concealed within the smoke. Anybody who tries to attack you will have disadvantage. All right. That's my turn. Okay. Well, Mad God. What's later on life oh. you ever doing? Well, is this heart unholy? The, um, yes. Yes. <laughs> Should be. Is it? Really? <laughs> Jesus, nothing's unholy. Okay, uh, my hands radiate with divine uh, with divine blows and with a smirk on my face. I blast this bastard. Uh, I'm going to roll a hand of light uh, as a bonus action by quickening it. 20, 20, plus 10 to hit. Does a... Oh, we have to find out first. If you have plus 10 to hit, it definitely hits. Just don't Six. roll a 1. Okay, I got a 16 to hit. Fantastic. I get the Hand of Light Not buff. exceptional. <laughs> Amazing. Not exceptional. It's fine. Uh, it hits. I get the Hand of Light buff, which do there for three turns. Two for now. And with my two blows, I am going to... Uh, well, I was going to Illuminate to lower its AC, but it doesn't mean that doesn't matter now, does it? So Armor class 10. Do... Easy to hit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll lower it by six. Now everyone will be able to hit it. Yay! Um, and everything will be exceptional. <laughs> yeah, yep. pretty much. Except for that once. Is it both unholy and eldritch? Yes. Van. All of the above. It is the thing. Fantastic. It's Do also an aberration. Roll? And chaotic. I mean, I've, got plus wild card. I've got a plus. Oh, whatever. I'll roll. I might get a natural one. So I'm doing two beams because I'm also twinning it. Uh, this is my ultimate. Nope. <laughs> nope. So one blast deals. 27. And the other one deals. 20. Should have seen that roll. It was pathetic. I'm not going to bother with the minus AC wisdom save, but you can if you like, but it deals radiant evil damage. Kill the heart. Rip it to pieces. <laughs> What's the wisdom save against? Uh, 14. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, the thing is very Ooh, wizard. I got a nine. Does he have any additional mods? Uh, yeah, he he's uh, legendary resistance and ignores it. Okay, his AC is still ten. That's uh, my turn. Okay, Father Arid sees the beating heart being chopped by He-Man, blasted by Zalder, blasted by Leron. With a yell of righteous fury, he charges in, legs blurring under the effects of haste. He raises his giant hammer, yells, I shall smite thee. We've got several uh, unused spell slots. So the first is a 15. The second is a 13. With the hammer of Rick James, it's hammer time. So uh, let's see. Smite, smite, smite. It's been a minute. My apologies for the delay. Maybe I should find an ambience that's like less hell and more heartbeat. <laughs> that probably right. rock. Uh, one d8 for every spell. Two d8 spell. All right, so he is going to burn his last two first level spots to do an extra four d8 of damage. Do you want me to just roll all the damage together? Yeah, give me a total so I can add this up. What's one nine four plus twenty two? One nine four. Now let's get his his total uh, damage first. Forty one. So your total is forty one damage. Yeah, I just rolled everything together. Made All it right. simpler for you. Okay, so he's at 235 damage now. About a little over half of that is radiant damage, if that makes a difference. Nah. nah he's just static across the board. He just takes the damage flat. Ninja, you'll have to add uh, 22 damage because I forgot to uh, roll my hand of light damage from the bonus attack. So. Okay. So after he, he swings and... There's blinding flashes of light as the hammer blows to connect. There's little wisps of uh, radiant energy blowing off the hammer and out of uh, Father Arid's armor. He just He's breathing rather heavily because he just used up every single last one of his spell slots. Also he's noteworthy, out. he's a freakish mutant and he's wielding the hammer in one gigantic arm. Yes. He's got... He, it, it, except it's not made of stone... That left hand sure looks a lot like uh, the Hellboy big stone fist. Gotcha. Okay, so after that, Mira Leron was killed. Scorbeak. Oh, my Scorbeak? Yes. Uh, my Scorbeak, uh, b -b -b well, it has legendary resistance uh, against saving throws, so is there even any point? Um, fuck it, Toll the Dead is not going to cut hit, but whatever. Uh, I Make a wisdom saving throw. Mm, 25. Quark, he is sad. Next. <laughs> okay. Uh, Houdini. He is sad. Houdini, told the dead, make a wisdom saving throw. All right. 25. Uh, no, no, only 15 on this one. I'm going to need a 16. Mm. Got him. Roll some damage. Ooh, nice. 18. Oh, so when, when Zolder does it. He's clearly the favorite child. I mean, Houdini and, did and, that and, one. Blame the and not only, and not only that, but my my cantrip still do half damage on a successful save. Evoker. No, that's only if it has the ab ability to do half damage on a successful no. save. No, no. So if you did toll the dead, then it would still be. No, if you that's... did toll the dead, which is either save and fail. Correct. It turns a save and fail cantrip into a save or half. Sure. Re look it up. I will. I know you will. Okay. It drives you mad if you don't. Rikaril, the ancestor in all of his giganticness, is going to reach for you with his two grasping fists, each hand big enough to en enclose your entire head in it. He's going to Ooh. attempt to crush down on you using an ability called Refashion Them. And so his left hand has a 18 to hit. What's your armor class? 
22. 22. All right. So you dodge nice. to avoid his left hand. His right hand comes down, and he's got a 23 to hit, which hits. Ooh. So his his hand yeah. grasps you, and it's going to it's going to crush your mind, dealing 10 psychic damage. So it, it does physical damage, 10, but it also does stress damage, 10. So it's destroying your mind and your body simultaneously as it warps your flesh, as he's trying to refashion you into something different, something new. You feel changed by his touch. Does Fuck he get a cool him. mutation now? Um, I wonder if I can. Come on, don't. Yeah. I wonder if I can creep him out with my fly arms. No. A head that will. I don't have the uh, table. Do you want to roll it? <laughs> no, I would well and not. I would well and not. You want me to Dead use that table and link to you the other day? I mean, just for fun. It might be funny to see what it does. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Let me see if I can find that. Table. If you can find it. Sun. It's probably was the it final dark session. Sun? Yeah, I think it was. It wasn't Dark Sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So but far, uh, the heart's far. also going to do something. So the most damage was dealt by He-Man. So He-Man, the heart itself is going to lay into you with its full power. Uh, know this! The heart. Blast your mind. DC 25 wisdom save, He-Man. DC 25 wisdom. I think I just automatically fail that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out of fire. Well, roll, cool. roll a 20, see if you crit it. You can't really crit saves. 14. <laughs> um, I'm going to need a D8. All right. Uh, I rolled a 10. What happened? Okay. Uh, you take 38 so stress damage. So I rolled on the mutation table for you, Ninja. 38. 38 stress damage. He now has a new form of power regeneration. What? Power regeneration? Yeah, so other power-related mutation. And so he now has a different type of regeneration. All right. More healing factor? More Rikuro gets, healing point. Rikuro gets a scaly patch that's a solar panel. He produces a, a small <laughs> electric nice. charge, like a 9-volt battery. How to become immortal in D and D? Number one healing factor. Number if, two. If you lick Rikarul's shoulder blade, you'll get that tingle you get from a nine volt battery. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. Uh, so it Silver does know rebel. this to He Man, and then one of the uh, one of the parts of the heart is going to branch off from it, and it's going to slap down at. Uh, Let's see. Let me roll a d4 and see who it targets. It's just slapping randomly. Uh, that's going to be Zolder. So, Zolder, a tentacle slap. Whoosh, it slaps down at you. It's got a 30 to hit. I'm pretty sure that hits. Pretty sure that that's is exceptional. exceptional against it. <laughs> uh, no, it is. Well, oh, it might be. What's my AC? Yeah, my AC is 20. So, yeah. yeah, it is exceptional. You ever seen a wizard with a 20 AC? No, you have. <laughs> and, that's no, no, no. and that's before shield. All right, this does piercing damage. 67 piercing damage. Holy fuck. Are you down again? Are you dead? <laughs> oh my god. Are you dead? Uh, I'm not dead yet, but I am unconscious. Knockout. <laughs> was it, was it <laughs> supposed to do like 5d6 plus like 10? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's wrong. Hey, I, had to, God, you know, I had to clear Matt it. God. I had to clear it, and I did not. Matt God, do you know it's fair to dying? <laughs> that would have sucked. He does take a right. little. He I does take a little. I could finally use my damage. bonus action to bring someone back to life. You know, it's fair to dying, Leska. No, I know better. Hey, so, we still got so that. So what's the real damage? <laughs> real damage. Here we go. Here we go. Twenty-three. Twenty-three oh, minus okay. six because of the skull, so he takes seventeen. All right. So you he get whacked really hurting. by a spiky tentacle. Piercing. Where does it hit him? Where is he bleeding? Like your entire front. The tentacle is like bigger than your entire body, and you just got slapped hard against the wall by the full, like every every part of the front of your body got hit by it. <laughs> but I thought you said it was piercing damage. So where's the hole? Uh, well, the whole thing. Imagine like a a giant Everything tongue cold. covered in in like. Uh, like the metal studs you'd have, like on a on a punker well, type person's jacket, across my chest and bleeding profusely. Then, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of rough 
duds that just slap into you super hard. Nice. All right, so uh, after that, I'll roll the new initiative minus the ancestor, and uh, well, what, I guess what the ancestor the is minus the uh, the layron that I was on there before. Attack of opportunity. Oh. Why does oh, yeah, the ancestor yeah, yeah. always? Why does the ancestor always go last? Because you guys have mods. And he he and has he no slow. Layron has an attack to do since it attacked him. I don't have a talk to do. He man does. Yeah, he man does. Or he man, I mean. So he man, roll your wait, I have roll your attack on it. it. Obviously six. hits. Did Leon on even miss at this point? He oh man. wow, that's a lot of ones. Uh, twenty-five points of damage. Twenty-five. That puts it at three hundred hit points of damage. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you made him too powerful, Ninja. Why won't it die? Just the die heart that way. will not die. The heart of darkness. Did All we right, ever guys. do that ritual? Uh, so right. you helped Zolder figure out the ritual, and and Zolder is like trying to trying to do something to the heart, and so he's he's sort of working on it, right? Yeah, yeah. I need the I need the heart weakened so that I can sever its connection to the ancestor. So like you while you were researching it, you saw in, in the notes that it said like if you can if you can physically defeat the heart, then it, you can put it into a state of torpor where it'll sort of be asleep for a long period of time. So, so that's what the ritual I guess seems I'm to be roll about. Roll another I need to do another insight check to see if it's weak enough to start doing the second part of the ritual, right? Sure. Roll an insight. Uh, ooh, seven. All right. You can't I tell can't the difference. Tell. Yeah. All right. But also, you're seeing triplicate because of that slap you took. So maybe you're just having a hard time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Uh, Zaldo's gonna. Let's see. He's gonna use a bonus action to quaff one of his potions of healing because he has. Which potion? It's a potion of superior healing. So it does 8d4 plus 8 healing. He's got three of them, and he is going to use one of those right now. How many things can you attach to one belt? Or one? That's infinite. Uh, I think it has. No, no, it has eight slots, and I'm only using a bandolier. seven. Okay. A bandolier, I think, is eight. Gonna use on my roller. So 23, no. however, it's reduced by four because of the skull. Does the skull suck out the healing from potions as well, I assume? Yeah, probably. All right, so that was 23 less four, so 19. So she is back up to 42 hit points. That was his bonus action. His full action will be uh, another charge from the Wand of Lightning. Because I can do this all day. All right, Captain America. That is America's ass. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight lightning damage. All right. I don't know if I'm defibrillating it or if I'm killing it, but one of the two is happening. <laughs> yeah, the heartbeat does stop for a moment, but then it continues right after. Just die okay. already. Uh, my turn now. Recurls next. Yep. Uh, oh, this does, does a seventeen hit. Now, oh, cool. I found an ambience with a heartbeat. Does boom, a boom, seventeen hit? Boom, boom. Uh, to hit the ancestor, yeah. Alright. Uh, he takes twenty-one damage and second attack. And that is a twenty-five. Six Not quite exceptional, but it does hit. 25. Another 25. Yeah. And at this point, I'm going to have to go. Sorry right. if I couldn't make it for the whole thing. Well, That's I'll have you continue early. to rake, 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 rake as much as it takes. Alright. Yeah. Uh, see you, Caster. 40 minutes? Uh, yeah, he's got to get up super early for a uh, appointment. Probably for the surgery. Uh, broken surgery, hand. broken hand. Yeah. You said this would take an hour. 
Uh, well, yeah, we're 40 minutes in. Uh, if we can finish it in the next uh, 20, then I'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> Did, 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 did Casper actually down. absorb my uh, my failed save for uh, surgery? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Everyone needs to get surgery except except um Psycho Frog. He rolled his save and yeah. he passed. I pulled my save somehow. I mean that was a high DC and I somehow managed to save. He got a nat surgery. twenty on his Constitution saving throw. Trust me, my con score in real life would be low. <laughs> so that nat twenty was a lifesaver. All right, he man, what do you do? He beats it himself. We know what he does. Long. I'm going to remember my training. I'm gonna get flashbacks from fighting with uh, Sonya and what's his face, and I'm going to use my thing. heavy weapon mastery to put in more damage because this thing is so immobile that I'm just going to rage and scream at it with more damage reckless attack 23 uh 21 23 28 one of that one's a critical again yay uh oh oops that last one's supposed to be great Those are really low well rolls, okay. Really, final, finally, finish. The end, Finn. <laughs> I read the title. <laughs> and maybe finally we can kill He Man's unbelievably overpowered character. Is that the goal? By ending the campaign. 26 <laughs> weapon! That's a. not a critical hit. <laughs> That's a. what? Yeah. 26 weapon, 14 modifier. 10 d6. So doesn't that if you if you got 20, doesn't that mean 20 d6? No. He only gets that many d6s on a crit. I mean, it requires the enchantment on the sword, which gives extra d6s, and doubling the sword itself, which does numerous d6s. It's like 66 off a crit. Because the sword normally does 3d6. And then the sword has 2d6 extra bonus damage on a crit. Which gets him to 8. Oh, okay. But you can't double that because it's the enchantment on the sword. It doesn't double. It's Ninja, just a weapon. 100 punch. damage a turn. <laughs> so, I don't know. Did you get a Did you get a total yet, He-Man? What's the, what's the big damage number here? Uh, wait. Where is the... 100 damage a turn and I can't even get a fucking helmet. <laughs> what are you... S you got what you wanted. Why are you still complaining about it? Because, <laughs> I, because I couldn't get what I wanted. Because he's all. mad god. You wanted to have a thing on your head that had an enchantment, and that's what I added to the game. <laughs> Great. Now give me gloves. 145. And, and those gloves were already in there. It would be redundant. So no. <laughs> no, there aren't. There aren't gloves for light armor. There's literally no difference. Yes, there is. None. The chances of getting the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> while you wearing while wearing light armor, you can wear clothing, correct? You get a chance of getting one piece of... Medium armor gives you three chances to get gloves. Light armor gives you one. That's the same as unarmored. Anyway, we're not doing this now. So, He-Man does 145 damage. That's, uh, let's see. Oh, it becomes sorry. 400. Sorry, it's supposed to be 161. Uh, I don't know why. The modifier was supposed to be 18, not 14. 489. So supposed to be 16 extra damage. Yeah. Sixteen extra, you said? Yeah, 16 extra. 489 damage. Bam! Chop, 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 how chop. Many, how many turns has it been since I've been haste? Is it wearing off yet? Two. That's plus. Two, That's two plus. rounds even slicing it. Uh, been, no, since like the beginning, because I drank the haste potion like at the beginning. I think it's been eight, eight turns. Yeah. So, two more turns of haste. No. Eight. Yeah, two. 
because All right. that's totally necessary. Oh, Cirrus. You're back in the smoke. Howdy. You can hear Rikril raking the ancestor and the ancestor mocking him and trying <laughs> to crush his head and reshape his form. All right, I'm going to... Um... I still, I can still hear the battle, right? So I'm gonna head towards the noise again. Okay. So Just you barely outside the smoke. Step out of the smoke, five feet. Here you are. You can see what's going on. You can see off in the distance. There's uh, all sorts of lightning crackling and tentacle slapping in a cave off in the distance. But up close here, you've got Rikarul and the ancestor fighting. Okay. So I'm guessing that since he's the final boss, he's gonna have all types of magical resistances. So I am going to. Um, Oh, throw, throw my spear, which is infused for returning weapon because artificer. Mm -hmm. So d twenty plus. And While you're calculating that, um, into stress healer? For the crit? Oof. Yeah. How many that crits did you get? Oh. You had multiple That's crits, right? Like three of them? Uh, two. Two crits. Okay, so the first one was eight and eleven. So eight for He-Man, eleven stress relief for people within twenty feet that see the crit, and then the second one... The second one was seven and six. So seven for He-Man, six for others. All right, that was an 11, so it misses. All right, you throw your go. spear, and the ancestor opens a small hole in itself, and the spear passes through it. All right, and then I'm going to go back in, then I'm gonna go back into the smoke, and I want to use my bonus action and drink from the blood flask again. Okay. So that is how much is the blood flask heal for? Mm, good question. Two D four plus four. Water skin. Two D four plus four. Thank you. Seems legit. This is the same as a regular healing potion, right? Eight. Yeah, yeah. Because you can only drink that much at a time per turn. You had okay, and 17 damage before, so what, you're at 9 damage now. Yes. Something like that? Were you tracking it? I was tracking it on your figurine here, but I don't know if you were as well. I took a bunch of damage from the explosion thing, and that was 30-something, and then I drank um, two water, well, one, because I only took a sip. Yeah, so I thought you were so... back down to 17, and now you're back down to 9 damage. So. Did you apply your uh, passive regeneration as well? Um, if I'm applying it now, then that is one. For each person's turn, that's one hit point of healing, right? Just on your turn. No. Just, your, yeah. Just on your uh, turn. So, that would so that's exit three eight. points. You get three healing? Um, I have, I've had three turns since I got hit. Okay. Yeah, you just weren't applying it. That's fine. So you're almost healed, and you're safely concealed in the smoke. That's your turn. Yes. Mad God. Yep. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do as a bonus action, but nothing I do will give me more damage. So, um, you saw Zolder just get slapped by that tentacle, and Zolder's trying to do the ritual, so that's probably counterproductive. Maybe you can do something about that. Pretty sure he just healed. How much damage have you taken now, Zolder? Uh, I'm still pretty hurt. I'm still missing 14 HP, and that skull is great at protecting me, but also sucks up some of the healing. Kind of a, it's Fine. a two-edged sword. Fine. I'll heal Zolder with my healing lights. Doesn't look like I'll be using it today. Uh, that is going to be three D6s? I haven't used this without the roll of... Uh, yeah, D6s. One plus Warlock level. So... Ba -ba -ba. I'm forgetting what D6 looks like. Mm, errors in Cute. script. I'm pressing the buttons, but they're not coming up. Oh, there they are. 3d6, um, and I drank a... What's it called? A, um... Holy water. 
that's it. I drink a holy water beforehand, so I do plus four healing, plus four to healing skills. Do I count that? Uh, not against me because I because the skull eats four healing, so just roll it. It'll I'll eat roll math. that then. Just don't yeah. don't, don't add the modifiers. We don't have to do math. Eight. Nice. Thank you. That's that is a bonus action, though. Uh, as my action, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm twinning. Um, let's go with illumination again, because I, I doubt I'm going to be able to stun this thing. Uh, so, bum, bum, bum. wait, I have Put to roll. Put that cardiac arrest. Sorry, I forgot to have to roll, even though it's a natural hit. Uh, this is a good camera angle if you're looking at the uh, Twitch stream. All the heroes battling the heart. Except for the two in the back distracting the uh, big giant guy. Do they really count as heroes, though? Uh, wow. <laughs> I mean, they're more of a... a vampire and a werewolf, they might count as monsters. I'm not sure. I mean, that's a whole little underworld thing going on back there. And then they have a baby who's got the properties of both. I mean, it's weird. <laughs> Ignore that. So twenty six and thirty. What are those? Eldritch blasts? Twenty uh twenty six and thirty damage. That's twins uh Illumination. Twinned Illumination, gotcha. Alright. That's a lot of damage. You're why Let me so, check here. You're wondering, if you're wondering why it's so powerful, it's because it's both Eldritch and Unholy, so I add a bunch of mods. See? And you're saying I do too much damage. <laughs> well, bro, I did 59. You did 149. Because I'm hasted, and one of them was a crit. <laughs> Wait, aren't I you can't first benefit crits? from haste. All right, so I'm dealing with bless here, man. You get later on. Life giver well. lays into it with eldritch blasts, and they're you've... not eldritch blasts. Well, they're illumination. <laughs> illumination. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Illumination. If so... anything, you have to make a DC 14 wisdom save. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You did enough damage, so you've done over 500 damage to the the beating heart, and it starts to beat frantically as it's having a heart attack. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. And the whole place begins to shake and rumble. Rocks are falling from the ceiling. The vibrations are causing rocks on the floor to bounce up and down, and so everything becomes very rough terrain. Everybody's having a hard time standing. Everybody, roll a deck save or be knocked prone. I really want to flip the table. <laughs> if you're flying, it doesn't yeah, matter. I think uh, Leron, Houdini, Scorbeak, they're all flying. Anybody on the ground in the chamber here. So that's basically just He-Man and Father Arid and uh, yeah, Zolder's on the ground. Wait, you mean everybody, including? No, no, no. no. Just, just in this chamber here. So you're, you're in, right. you're in the, the you're in the big watery room. Uh, DC 15 or be knocked prone. Okay, I made. So, just makes it. Okay. I think you will then... still have Bless, if it matters. Yeah, you didn't no, even need it. Uh, and Bless isn't going to help uh, Father Arid. Father Arid is prone. All right, Father Arid gets knocked prone. Um, the heart attack intensifies, and what's going to happen is... Uh, disillusion. Dun-dun-dun. Um... No, that's not it. Hang on, hang on. You don't need the ring. It's physically yeah, prone. <laughs> so, it's, uh, what happens while well, you're plant prone? As the creature uh, dies, a psychic scream explodes from its body. Um, unleashing the power of a mind blast at the intellect of all creatures, up to ten creatures of your choice that you can see within range. Uh, if you have an intelligence score of two or lower, you're unaffected. I don't know if anybody here has an intelligence score that low. Uh, probably not. But each target must make an intelligence saving throw. No. Intelligence saving throw, oh boy. It's DC 20, intelligence saving throw. 
It was at that moment that Zolder got <laughs> a really big hard on in his trousers. Uh, he's got plus nine to intelligence saving throws. Six. Big fat six. And fails. <laughs> you also got a six with mod. <laughs> big fat six. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that Father Aaron had minus one to his intelligence saving throws, he would have come Fuck. a lot closer to making it. Okay. Uh, it does 62 stress damage. Or wow. uh -oh. save for half. So 62 or 31 if you get the DC 20 int save. Well, Father Arid and Zolder are both at 62 then. I'm at 72. Make sure you're minusing 3 for the camping skill. Oh yeah, Zolder takes 6 less for Eldritch enemies. All right, so everybody's mind is racked by the, the pain of the dying god. It's projecting its own torment into all of your minds, and you're feeling it. You're feeling that pain of dying, and it's crippling. Some oh, of you shut resist. Up. You're going to be fine to sleep. I'm Most of you sleep. don't. <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. All right, so Zelda, knowing that it's it's the time to complete the ritual. Yes. What do you do? So, well, Zelda's going to do a couple of things. First of all, he's going to hold up his armored gauntlet, unleashing the spell within, which is Charm Person, level 3, oh, and God. say, protect me! And he will cast it on Leron and He-Man and Father Arid. Can you affect three people with it? Is it yes, because it's level 3. Okay... DC 16 wisdom saves or be charmed for an hour. Can you do that to party members? Yep. <laughs> no, you can't. You liar. Uh, if we can't uh, kill uh, them. Uh, Even is charmed. <laughs> what am I doing? Protecting you? You've been yes, charmed. You're protecting me now. Zolder's You've your best charmed. friend. Save him. Protect him. I mean, you're yeah, already my friend. Me. I'm already Zolder. protecting you. What do you? What do you need? <laughs> More you'll, so. you'll, you'll see soon. I counter, I persuade him, and no, protect me, you fool! Uh, Father Aird has to save against wisdom. Yeah, have to spell magic. <laughs> it's probably for the best. If you would have ordered me to save you, I would have teleported you out of here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have bless, right? That's for saving throws? Mm hmm Okay. Uh, uh, Father Aird is 16 charmed. saves, right? What was the DC? 20. Oh, okay, never mind. Now, what was the DC? 17? 16? It, it is 16, but it I don't 16. know if there's any, if there's any effects okay, from the party. Okay, then I make, I make the, the save then. You're welcome. <laughs> he then... I thought you rolled a 6. Slices. Am I incorrect on that? He... What's that? No, I, I, I'm just scrolling up, looking at He-Man's roll. So, so, so Father Aaron, uh, Father... Well, He-Man had a 15, and then he rolled awesome. a 1 for the bless. Although, is yes. the Bless still in effect? How long does Bless last? Uh, a while. Uh, hang on. No, I was minutes. looking at the previous Bless. roll of that one. Yeah, you did roll that 15. What was that? Six. Two minutes. Six. When did Bless. Cast Wait, what was that? Have you been keeping track of it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, charm, charm, charm. Didn't work on Only later on. Or Father Eric. Or Father Eric, but he was already your hireling, so. Yeah, yeah, he was, but but he's probably not gonna take kindly to what's about to happen next. As Zolder goes and slices his unarmored hand open, plunges it into the heart, and twists the ritual to seize the power away from the ancestor. Mm -hmm. All right, the ancestor ghost that Rikuro was fighting out here in this chamber here vanishes. Poof. Zelda, you feel a little weird. Oh, no. A little aberrant, you might say. Your type has changed. What? Did he change subclass mid-fight? Zelda has usurped the ancestor's power rather than defeat the, uh, the, uh, the thing from beyond. Uh. He's a cultist. What do you think? He's going to pass up this opportunity? No. 
Betrayal. Do we have to kill him now? It should have been betrayal. The attack on a the attack on Titan reference. You damn traitor! <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! All right. Why so Zolder, you now you now possess all the powers of the ancestor. Why are we using this model? Why are we not using I'm... my beautiful model that I made for him? I was just bringing it out of giant Zolder. <laughs> It walks. How much health do I have to chop away at him now? <laughs> 400 more damage to go. So the trick here is the heart is still defeated. The psychic scream still went off. So even though you've usurped the power of the ancestor, the heart of darkness is defeated and is in that torpor state for at least 20 years. So, the world is saved, but Zalder is now in, in charge of that world-ending power and is and corrupted by it, so maybe the world's not saved. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, is he, is he now the ancestor, or is the ancestor still there and is now in effect? Zolder? In effect, he is the ancestor now. Okay. He's stolen the ancestor's power. So, you had the option to break the ritual... Or what he did is just recast it for himself. <laughs> Wait, what is your what was your alignment before this, Zelda? Uh, it was lawful neutral, but it's probably a a, a bit more chaotic evil at this point. Probably yeah. <laughs> a bit, a bit, maybe I don't. Definitely maybe. chaotic. <laughs> the betrayal's pretty evil. So yeah, yeah, I think he, so. He he, Zelda could not pass up the opportunity for unlimited power. Zold, does Zolda realize that it took us three turns to kill the heart and we could very easily kill him? I will show you unlimited power. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. <laughs> well, hold on. Hold on. You don't really know anything happened. There's no visible sign that anything yeah. out of I the ordinary even happened. Big. You do have the power to get that big if you wanted to, but you would have to will yourself yeah. to grow, and you haven't done that yet. Well, they do know I tried to charm them for some unknown reason. Oh yeah. And then I made, and I and I did make the ancestor go away. But other than than saying protect me, unleashing magic on his allies, which is probably a little weird, and making the ancestor go away, that's what they know. So Rikaril and uh, Osiris. Well, I know, like, Rikaril's not here, so I can say Rikaril's going to run up. And, and see ya. If you want to have Osiris come out of the cloud and rejoin the group, you're, you're out of combat now, and you can rejoin and do the RP part. Uh, yes. I would like so, to do that. All right, so I'll move your figurine over here and Rikaril's too. That smoke bomb is ridiculously long-lasting. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, they last forever. <laughs> so, Zolder looks to uh, Leron and uh, he then says, uh, my apologies, I, I, I panicked there for a minute. I wasn't sure if the ritual would, would work. <laughs> a likely story. <laughs> Rikaril is... shapeshifts back into his human form. <laughs> and then he... he so, oh, so we visibly heals. saw him change. No, you saw me plunge my hand into the, the, the beating heart. It stopped beating, and the ancestor went away. What are you talking about? He completed the ritual. You guys won. Happy yeah. days. What if I eat the heart? I mean, I'm going to look to Zolder and say, I don't think it's over. <laughs> what Can do you I mean? Can I detect magic? Well, well it's... <laughs> <there'd be> no... <laughs> well, it's quite simple. If, if the ancestor were defeated, that would mean that my contract would finally be fulfilled, and my powers would be gone, right? So explain to me why I can still do this. And I snap my fingers and fire erupts from an, an unknown area. The uh, the angel magic. Doralius appears in the corner, points at you and laughs, and nothing happens. <laughs> what are you, what? What are you the, the angel Doralius the appears, is... points at you and laughs, and your spell doesn't go off. It fizzles. See, the ancestor was defeated. That wasn't the part of the contract. <laughs> That wasn't the, the contract wasn't to kill the ancestor, it was to kill the ultimate evil. You defeated the evil. Congratulations. We defeated the evil. Look, the, the, the heart, the evil the heart is still. The heart is asleep. Yep. It will sleep forever. Well, at least 20 this years. Is, 20 years of peace. Of, Congratulations. Out of RP, this is 
bullshit. <laughs> the angel would so know that uh, that Duralia, that Zolder's still alive, and that I should still have the power to kill him. The angel would probably be aware that nobody is capable of killing a god permanently. So this is probably the outcome he wanted anyway. Oh, wow. Well, for to somebody be else to be... Well, maybe I not mean, necessarily the world, for Zolder. The world is safe. But the world the is world safe is for 20 safe years. For 20... So he yeah, got what so he wanted. Until, until Ninja wants to run another Darkest Dungeon campaign where the main bad guy is now Zolder. <laughs> Ah, well, well I'm, out of mag I'm out of magic powers for no reason, and I can't do anything to stop Zolder now, so... Uh, Wait, yeah. I mean, you're still me. a Baron. You're, <laughs> I'm not, you're still a nah, Baron. Not, not really, I'm not here anymore. Well, I it's mean, it, power, it, I it kind of depends on the epilogue. So, like, since the campaign is basically over, you guys could describe in, in, in the endgame terms, like, what your character would go on to do in their retirement. Wait, Ninja, did you this say point. that the darkest, the darkest dungeon was destroyed, all magic would disappear? Well, the magic of the Darkest Dungeon ceases to be, so yeah. Uh, most of your gems that you, you got that were based, like the teleport gem and the, the spell gem, all of those things were based on Darkest Dungeon magic. All of those would cease to work. A lot of the magic, magic weapons, items, magic like, items, magic all that weapon. stuff would cease to work. Magic is but nullified and killed because the source of it was defeated. I still have a big greatsword, though. Yeah, yeah I got a big-ass sword. However, Zolder's um, still got magic. Well, I'm wow, just strange. completely ignore that Zolder's got all the magic. For some reason, yeah. Zolder's magic works fine. <laughs> oh, wow, not suspicious at all. And all of his Go items, too. Him. Oh, that's really, really you unusual. You can't kill him. You literally can't kill him. You well, have we have magic e to do it anymore. All that magic plus one AC armor, gone. Well, to be fair, I, I didn't really have that many magic items in it's a bit of a bittersweet victory, right? Because you win, but you also secretly didn't. <laughs> as a final recl as a final recluse, I, I I just like to say I really don't like the idea of just seeing Duralius over in a corner pointing at me, to laughing at my thing being because that's like a bad prankster. That's not. <laughs> I, I really I really really don't like that. But I RP. Uh, as the final connection is broken, Leiron claps his hands together and, w and shakes off dirt that isn't there, and he goes, Well, finally, that that troublesome thorn in my sign is finally gone. Ah! And suddenly, Leiron gets attacked by Scorbeak. It's in his hair, <laughs> it's ripping at him, and <laughs> Scorbeak is trying to mutter through, from, uh, mutter through its beak. This is one of the times you beat me to an inch of my life! <laughs> oh, wait, you uh, did that? That's just abuse. And, uh, and Leron just just runs away, trying to get rid of this, trying to outrun the bird pecking at his head. Mm. You what go, about you? That's you're getting from me tonight. What about you, he man? Uh, I think it's time to go retire and go live with Smitty, because he missed out on everything, so I have to go tell him all the tales over and over. <laughs> Smitty is still alive? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Why'd you sound so disappointed in Mad God? <laughs> no, no, I'm surprised more than anything. I, I was talking about Mad God's melodramatic. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Mad God's an asshole. Um, he is, because he has he has no more powers. <laughs> you missed it, Diamond. There was a last minute betrayal. Zolder no, Zolder I, took the dark power it. for himself. I, I, I heard it. I was listening the entire time. Uh, you caught that? Awesome. Mad God isn't an asshole. Mad God is annoyed about how his character ended. But, you know, whatever. Well, also, uh, Leiron Lifegiver was the asshole. Mad God's just the player. Playing Dude, a character. So, do I shrink back to normal size? Quote unquote normal size <laughs> for you, man. Since my ring and stuff. Yep. Yep. Your normal size. Uh, All your giant armor falls off. Are you going to message Rick real or Caster since you campaign Caster and tell him like, okay, what do you do in the epilogue? Osiris and Rick real die because the vampire curse is now destroyed as well. <laughs> they're, then, now they're just, just no now they're not they're undead. undead. Yeah. They're just corpses. Shit. They're just piles. Yeah, <laughs> they stop being undead. They're just. Yeah, yeah they're just. Wait, did I? Wait, did I? Do I just actually just plop down and die? Yeah, you just die. I would assume a lot of the uh, curses would end since they were all tied to the magic too. So the. Uh, the mutation that makes Rikaril an abomination would go away, and 
the uh, the vampirism would go away and all of the cursed items that might be affecting people would cease to be cursed items anymore, all that good stuff. The necrotic other the other keeping other trinkets also. Panel. The necrotic the magic keeping Father Arid alive immediately vanish and he falls Ooh, into the yeah. floor, his arms and legs turning into Sur dust. Surprisingly, surprisingly he stays together. No one knows oh yeah, that. I forgot. Oh man, no one knows. Wow, Father Arid, you seem, wow. The yeah, one strangely magical thing enough. that persists. There's just suspicion after the suspicion, but again, we can't do anything about it, so whatever. <laughs> Wait, Boulder, what did I just act? I'm just Boulder, I'm curious about Burn. what my stats are after. Like, do I, I don't, so would the yeah, trinkets I think, also go I away? I think everything would be uh, anti magic pretty much, so you'd just be base stat. Are the, that are the darkest dungeon uh, trinkets also gone? Yeah, all that stuff is okay. the same kind of magic. That moment you barely had any magic items to begin with, so you're I, just I wanna, pretty much. I wanna, I wanna see if I if I would be able to beat Zelda. <laughs> you know what would <laughs> still exist? Great the things story. that would still exist would be anything tied to Zelda, like if Zelda bestowed power into it, or anything that uh, Cthulhu applied magic to. So maybe some of the uh, the cultists out at sea, the sea people, they, they might still have Cthulhu magic. What about Dagon? The Dagon stuff. Uh, Cthulhu and Dagon underwater. are like the same thing, basically. The, really? The, the, the oh, Dagon, no. Dagon's Dagon like a child of Cthulhu Cthulhu's or something. Son. Yeah, yes. so they're they're all one big happy family of fish people. Regardless, um, Ninja, did you have a chance to take a take a look see at my character sheet, make sure everything's in order? Uh, not yet. Should have asked me. I was asking. I, I was asking if you had or were going to. Not yet. So link it in the uh, in the Discord there, and I'll check it out. If you're an undead, okay. Sorry. Oh, you just, you just finished. Okay. If you're an undead creature and Darkest Dungeon is defeated, do you just flat out plop down and turn? Mm, I'm gonna have to scroll back a ways. I don't see it. Can you repost it? Should be there. Uh, should be in Dark Sun. Uh, is this it? All done, Beery. Yeah, it's it. it... Igno well, yeah, I suppose I should change my character since they're not a kobold anymore. Um, character name, I should say. Okay. Now it says Chi Chi. Did you make that Hero Forge character I told you to make? Now I have to make an epilogue because I honestly thought Zolder was just going to die when that charm failed. Uh, <laughs> the, I honestly, Ninja, I thought you were just going to let them tear me to bits. Uh, I guess Zolder and his loyal henchmen. Uh, I could, but we're already like Father 12 minutes Eric. over and Diamond's here waiting to play. <laughs> so, uh, they set up, uh, they set up shop outside the mansion to, uh, guard the heart from ever being used by the forces of evil ever again. Sorry, say that again? <laughs> You're gonna set up a temple? Only barely over an hour. No, no, we, we build a, a small wizard's tower on the, the grounds of the smoldering castle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that wouldn't be suspicious whatsoever. Everyone didn't. <laughs> You're going to change your name to Merlin? No, no, oh, no. God. Zolder the, the Beholder. The last wizard. Zolder the Beholder. The last wizard. <laughs> And holy I magic. I constructed Zara's eye on top of your wizard tower. <laughs> and wouldn't holy magic still be around too? So any like holy magic? Yep, yeah, there would be. Divine magic, druid yeah. magic. There's uh, there's still that uh, that is my was it that holy it. sword in that cave. There's still that was it the holy avenger two handed sword in that cave. Yeah, that was uh, a weapon of the god Tyr, so it's a divine weapon. I would still have magic. Ooh, your hammer's still you, active. Thor hammer. Yeah, your Thor hammer's still active, dude. So a few artifacts survive, but all the darkest dungeon stuff does not. Wait, so am I dead? I think I. What the hell? Why did it load this table? I think Wait, Ninja, am I? Table. Am I just dead? Is Osiris just dead? I swear, I hit the save game. Would, would Osiris and Rickroll try to stop Zolder from, from killing him? Because they're like, we don't want... <laughs> don't do the ritual. <laughs> I'm 
you don't want the game to end. <laughs> I mean, our lives to end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, living a life of undeath isn't exactly the best. Immortality, boo-hoo. <laughs> Oh, boo-hoo. I want to die. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Mr. V6. <laughs> oh, God. Just kill me. Just kill me every day. Just let me die. What's giving you armor class 20? Because you haven't done it right. You haven't done that AC uh, DM table of yours right, so you have to put down... Given them base ACs of 10 for some reason. Well, here it says uh, this is like there's nothing in his armor spot, and then it just has a 10. So he doesn't even have armor on. Wait, what are you talking about? It's on his character like, sheet. He didn't put his armor stuff in. You know where it says armor? Uh, I thought we didn't get armor or anything. At least that's what I've been told. Correct. So that's supposed yeah, to be a zero. <laughs> No, it's yeah. ten, Ninja. It's ten by default. You know when you told us to save those PDFs, you automatically you put it at ten. Mm, no, look, he changed it to zero, and his armor class is at ten now. So it's right. And it was at twenty when he had about, it set at ten. I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about when we saved them. So as long as you don't change the actual armor class thing, it's calculated by a formula. And the formula is based on this little armor section. So if you're putting the armor items that you have and the amount of armor they give, then it'll add 210 and your dex and give you what's in that red box that says armor class. But if you manually enter something, something in that armor class box, then you've ruined it and it will never work. So don't enter it manually because it's red and you're not supposed to edit things that are red. Long. What? Remember when you changed all those ability scores manually? Ooh. I mean, as long as they're right. <laughs> <laughs> as long as the um, number is accurate, it doesn't matter if the formula is fucked. But for armor class, that changes enough that you might want that formula to actually work. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. I changed them by putting the like the drop down score in the blue area. I changed those. I didn't touch anything in the red stuff. Originally, are we just going to use? Are we just going to use this? Changing the things in the red stuff. So we're just going to use the same stream, same title, same everything. <laughs> what red stuff? Yeah, I could do a new one. Hold on. Oh, yeah, what is this screen. attack roller block? 